Vice President Harris is on the road, hoping to become the 47th president of the United States. After making stops in Delaware and Virginia, Harris will be traveling to Milwaukee to drum up support there, with Wisconsin being a battleground state, of course. CBS News reporting she has the support of enough Democratic delegates to lock up the nomination at her party's convention next month. And the money... Turns out keeps rolling in. Since Sunday, the Harris campaign has taken in more than $100 million. Officials say 60% of that came from first-time donors. Wow. All right, let's bring in Jack Pitney from Claremont McKenna College. Yes, Professor, thank you so much for being with us. We, we really appreciate it. You know, we just uh, were finding out that President Biden is going to address the nation tomorrow at 5 p.m. our time. This transition between the former president and Harris seems to be going pretty smoothly, many comparing this level of enthusiasm maybe to 2008 when Barack Obama ran. How can the vice president build on this energy? Because the task ahead is monumental, and we do know that the former president, Donald Trump, also likes to be in the spotlight. So how does she, how does she kind of find her way here? Well, first, she just needs to stay on the road. She's out campaigning today. She should continue that full blast uh, from now through the convention. Second thing, uh, her first big decision, the vice presidency. She needs to pick a running mate who, A, is totally qualified to be president. That's the most important thing. But also somebody who excites Democrats. There are a lot of good names out there. And she has really good choices, any one of whom would make the Democrats even more motivated to work for her in November. All right. And as we just laid out, she has the momentum, seemingly enough delegates to cinch the nomination. And then the donors, of course, are sending in money. What challenges does she face in going ahead to head, though, with Donald Trump? What are her biggest issues here? Two things. One, the nation is just polarized. This is not going to be a blowout election on either side. It's uh, pretty close to a 50-50 country. Uh, she can expect attacks from Trump on issues like inflation, on immigration, her own record here in California. So her staff has to do what is called a vulnerability study, uh, opposition research on oneself, and anticipate the issues that are going to come up. Well, that's, you know, President Biden, as we were just talking about, is going to address the nation tomorrow. Is there something he can say? Does what he says matter at this point? The most important thing he can do is reassure the country that he's fully capable of serving as president through January. Uh, there are a lot of rumors and conspiracy theories about his abilities. He should make it clear that he made the decision to defeat Donald Trump that he decided that Kamala Harris would be a, uh, a better candidate than he would be, but he is fully capable of being president. And that's an important signal to send to the country and the world. And you mentioned that her pick for vice president would obviously be super important. We've heard a lot of names floating around. What do you think should be, she should be looking for in that candidate? Number one is the day one test. Is this person ready to be president if something should happen on day one? That's the most important thing. But also there are... Uh, issues of uh, regional balance. Can this person appeal to voters outside her base? Could this person bring in an additional state? That's why there's a lot of attention to Mark Kelly of Arizona, a very tightly contested state, Josh Shapiro of uh, Pennsylvania, another very, very important state, Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan, which would be an interesting choice, be the first all-female candidate, uh, first all-female ticket. That would be very interesting. She has gone to say, though, that she, she's not leaving Michigan. So at this point, uh, you know, it looks like some of those other candidates may be, may be in the front running. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, if she asks Whitmer, if, she, uh, if uh, Kamala Harris says, uh, I need you to win this election, uh, the governor might rethink her position. Okay. Yeah, we never know what's going to happen here. Jack Pitney, professor at Claremont McKenna College, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.